Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. What do you do when electricity and water gets shut off? In this guide, I will tell you everything you need to know and how to survive being sent back to medieval times. So both electricity and water are cut off from 0 to 30 days of survival randomly, so you could have it cut off even in 2 days. I noticed that on average, water gets cut off first, then electricity. First, the essential, water. When water gets cut off, the thing you notice is that the water in sinks, toilets, etc. is limited to only 20 units. This is the water remaining in the pipes. If you have no water at all, you will have to start hoarding water from other buildings. You can also get lots of water from office water dispensers and refill them too. Other options are rainwater and river water. Rainwater can be gathered using rain collector barrels or just placing buckets and pots outside. But this water must be boiled first in order to be safe to drink. You can do this with any pot or kettle. There's also a way to filter water and that is to plumb a rain collector barrel above to a sink. It has to be adjacent to the sink and you need any wrench to plumb it. You will have direct access to the barrel and water will be clean. The last way is to find a water well. There are only three wells and they're all in farms close to Moldra. To prevent having to quickly hoard water, stockpile it. Use any containers such as bottles, pots, buckets, etc. to collect it while there is still infinite amount of it. This is also a good time to get your hands on a water dispenser because you can refill it at any time. Now, electricity. What lack of electricity will do is turn off all the lights, ovens, refrigerators and gas pumps. To get lights back, you will either have to rely on flashlight poles or fireplaces. Ovens will have to be replaced with fire and you can use regular campfire or antique oven which can be used indoors. Fridges and gas pumps can only be activated through generators. Generators also allow you to turn on the lights. You need gas and knowledge to operate the generators and they must be fixed with electronic scraps from time to time. And remember to place the generator outside the building, not inside or you will suffocate because of the fumes. If you have the knowledge which is obtained through a magazine or occupation, you will be able to connect the generator and then turn it on if it has gas. Remember that gas pumps still have limited gas and you might need to find another if you deplete all the gas from it. And now it's time for the tip of the video. Make sure to tune in into the emergency broadcast radio because it will tell you when the electricity is gonna be shut off and also when it is shut off. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I will see you all in my next one.